Today I have the pleasure of speaking to Dustin Angelo from Anaconda Mining. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Tracy? Investor Intel audience, everyone says to me they're looking for gold projects that are actually you're actually producing. You have been for five years, is that correct? That's correct. And you're out of debt now, is that correct? We've been out of debt for over three years now. So we have a company here who's producing gold, and now it looks like with your latest resource update, we're looking at extending your uh, mine production 10 years, is that correct? Well, that's the goal. Right now we've got off to a good start with uh, the resource estimate on Stoggertite. It's my understanding that this resource update, uh, which conforms to the NI43101 standards, was very exciting on a number of fronts. Can you kind of give us more of a detailed update on this? Sure. Um, you know, one of the most important uh, things that we've been facing and the biggest challenges for Anaconda is the fact that we are, have our current pit, the Pine Cove pit, that uh, uh, has got a life of about three years left on it as we, as we know it today. And the challenge of the market is the fact that they think uh, that the, you know, the, the project itself is going to wrap up in three years. Um, but we feel as a, as a company uh, that the, the life of the project is much longer. We have a lot of uh, property, a lot of p exploration potential. And uh, the Stogger Tight deposit, which we just announced the resource on, is the first step to demonstrate the fact that there is a longer life to the project. Of course, Anaconda has been exceeding expectations ever since you came on board. You've been achieving benchmarks. I understand you've increased property claims ten times, tenfold? That's correct. Okay, so obviously there's a lot of evidence to support that you're going to achieve these goals. So for our audience that may not understand and under the Point Roost project in Newfoundland, can you give us a bit of an overview? Sure. So the Point Roost project, uh, we control um, the entire Mings Bight Peninsula, which is on the north central part of the island in the Bayvert Mining District. It's a historical mining district, goes back over 100 years. Uh, we control 6,300 hectares of property, the entire peninsula. Uh, there's about 20 kilometers of uh, strike length for gold trend, so there's a lot of prospectivity. Uh, there's five deposits that we control right now, and then a lot of uh, prospects and showings. So it's, it's been um, explored in the past, but it's never been under one umbrella, uh, all under one company. <clears throat> We've consolidated the whole area, not only from a geographic perspective, but from a, a, a data information perspective. Uh, so we've, we feel like we're in the best position right now to optimize the ability to find more, more gold on the, uh, on the peninsula and we're targeting uh, a pretty lofty goal of trying to find about a million ounces. Well, speaking of efficiency and optimization, I know you've done a lot of work with automation in your mill, including drones. Did I read that correctly? <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, we use drones for, uh, for surveying and it helps to, to uh, uh, more efficiently uh, uh, for the miners uh, to uh, survey the pits and all that. But the automation on, in, in, the, uh, in the mill uh, has been, uh, it's a project that's been going on for a couple months now and it should finish up by about December, uh, basically to uh, help uh, create more efficiency in the mill, uh, increase recovery and reduce cost. I often uh, recommend when people talk to me about what companies I follow to always take a look at the background of your CEO, management team, and board of directors. Of course, you have a stellar team, a stellar board. I noticed you also won an award recently or recognized for the top 100 uh, entrepreneurs in an MBA magazine. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? So we don't normally hear about CEOs being recognized as entrepreneurs. I like that personally. Yeah, well, it was a diversity award, so it was a top 100 under 50. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I was recognized a couple months ago. We, you know, at Anaconda, we try to, uh, you know, it's the mining industry is, is, I guess, is not typically very diverse, but we have a lot of women that are in, in uh, senior leadership roles. And uh, <clears throat> because of that, I think, uh, you know, the company itself got recognized. And as a CEO, I guess I, I got the award. So, what should we as interested investors anticipate, say, for the next couple of quarters? Well, I think we're going to continue to demonstrate there is a longer uh, life to the project. We, you know, we just came out the resource estimate. We're following up right now as we speak with doing some drilling uh, on the southern part of the Pine Cove pit, and we're doing some trenching around another area that steps out uh, uh, further uh, the main deposit at Stogger Tight. So our goal in the next you know, couple quarters is to demonstrate that there is uh, a much longer life to the project uh, via uh, Stogger Tight and uh, an extension of the Pine Cove pit. So that's pretty much what you'll we'll, we'll, we'll be working on. Now, Anaconda Mining, of course, is in a very mining-friendly jurisdiction. I don't think uh, some people understand how exciting Newfoundland is for many of 
for instance, technology metals you can find in Newfoundland as well. Would you, uh, would you consider acquisitions? Are you looking in that direction? Yeah, it's part of our strategy. Uh, we haven't been able to find an acquisition just yet, but we've looked all through Atlantic Canada and we looked through uh, the other parts of North America. Uh, so yeah, you know, we're gonna, we want to grow not only the project, but we want to grow the company. So we, we're looking for other uh, assets to put underneath the Anaconda umbrella. Well, I'd like to just thank you for joining us today and giving us such a great update. Oh, thanks for having me.